Ratchet. <laughs> we are gonna go pick up our crib because I had it delivered to work because I'm there five days out of the week. And of course, it's coming on a Saturday. So we're gonna go pick that up because it's about to be delivered. They just called us and then come back and paint. They, they did not give you a time at all. It was just 9.30 to 1.30. making his sandwich so sandwich to go <laughs> Okay, so we are back from picking up the crib and it's really echoing here, but I'm ready to get going on this project. So I have got an old wig on. It is a Noriko Haley that is well past her prime, but I kept her for things like this. So like working out, painting, just kind of stuff like that. So yeah. Also, if you're new here, my name is Kaylin and um, I wear wigs because I have alopecia. It's an autoimmune disease where my immune system basically attacks my hair so it doesn't grow. And I'm 22 weeks pregnant, so we are working on the nursery. So, last night, you can barely tell the difference in here. Um, I wanted really, really light, barely off-white walls. So um, that's what we did, and then we did really bright white trim. My husband painted like this test patch right here, so that's all I've done. So what I need to do is clear this stuff back out. I have a really couple big sheets I'm gonna put down on the floor. I need to patch a couple holes, um, sand them down. I wanna like wipe everything down, dust it, and then we will get this room painted. So here we go. All right, so we're officially getting started. So the first thing I'm doing is putting these big sheets down to kind of protect the floor a little bit because we are not doing anything with the floor, obviously. And then now that I've got these down, I'm just going through and sanding the areas that I had uh, filled. So there was still some nail holes that the previous owners had not filled when they put the new trim up. So I'm just gonna sand all of that off. Also, if you are new here, um, my husband and I are expecting our first baby, a little boy in June. We are so excited and I just want to share a lot of the nursery progress with you guys. Of course, we will do like a final reveal and I kind of want to do like a nursery organization video. Um, so all that will be coming, but today we're just getting it painted and um, getting some of the furniture put in here so I'm super excited and this is kind of the before so as you can see the walls are gray but they almost in person they actually have like a purpley tone to them but in the video they're coming up super gray but now I'm just taking my Swiffer and I wanted to dust all the walls really quick and get any dust from sanding um, the patch off because if you've ever painted, you know that it's just not fun to get dust particles in your paintbrush or your roller. And then while I do that, my husband is gonna take off the power um, outlet covers and the light switch covers. And the one that he's working on right now, you'll end up seeing I just tape it off. So he went to take it off and he saw that whoever put it on before we moved in used like a flat head, like a flat 
nail or something. And um, so he didn't have a screwdriver that could get in there and take it off. So um, he said, where there's a will, there's a way. And he could have gotten it off. But I told him that I would just tape this one. Also, what we do plan on doing in here, I should just explain again super quick, is I'm going to do all the walls. We're going to leave the ceiling alone, and then I'm going to paint these doors. There's two doors because there's a little balcony back there. So I'm going to paint that door in the frame, and then the main uh, man door into the room. Right now, they're like a cream. You can kind of tell, I think, on camera. And we're going to make them that nice bright white to match the trim along the floor. Also, this big old t-shirt is not flattering, but it's my Tommy's Paint Pot painting t-shirt. So it's okay, we don't have to look cute while we paint, right? And I promise you by the end of this video, I'm looking pretty haggard. Also, I'm not gonna keep every single clip in of me painting because to be honest, that would be a really long video just watching me paint between the two coats and having to cut everything in. But I did wanna leave a lot of the, or a decent amount of the sped up version of me painting because I feel like there's something so satisfying about watching this paint go on the wall in a sped up version. And on video it looks really, really white. And it is a white, um, but in person there is a tiny bit of a beige undertone to it, but it doesn't really pick it up on the camera very well. Sometimes I feel like with painting or maybe any project really, the hardest part is just getting motivated to get started. And then once you do it, it feels so good to have it done. So this is something we've been putting off um, for a while. I knew I wanted to paint this room, but it took wanting to turn it into the nursery for it to happen. Um, but once I actually got going and just did it, it was so nice to get done. And you wonder why you put these things off for so long. So now I'm motivated to do all sorts of painting in our house. We have a lot of doors that are like cream and they're just really scuffed and dirty. So I wanna wipe them, I'll still wipe them down, but I'm like, I'm motivated and ready to paint my new office and all the doors in our house. So it's, once you get going, it's not so bad. I think sometimes just getting started is the hardest part. Also, for my alopecia people, I hope you guys stick around for some of the cleaning lifestyle nursery videos. Um, if you joined my channel for wig, re wig reviews and things like that, and if you joined my channel for these types of videos, I hope you stick around through some of the wig reviews. Um, because I really started my channel doing wig reviews and alopecia content and things like that, and then I've kind of just started adding in a little bit more lifestyle and cleaning. Um, so I just want to keep everyone happy and watching for why you came, um, but there probably is going to continue to be some baby lifestyle cleaning stuff with some alopecia stuff sprinkled in as well. 
But now I'm just cutting in at the ceiling. I actually really enjoy cutting in. I kind of find it relaxing. What I didn't enjoy was these vaulted ceilings. <laughs> I love my vaulted ceilings, but I'm not a fan of ladders. And I just felt like it made it take longer because you basically have more footage to cut in because the wall slowly you know, goes up at a diagonal. But I left a few clips of this in here too because I just feel like this is really satisfying to watch as well. So now I'm just showing you guys how filthy these doors looked and I have wiped them down so it kind of grossed me out. I was a little ashamed um, but I wanted to show you why I want to wipe them down. Um, I don't want to just paint over dirt. That seems kind of weird to me. So I am going to go ahead and wipe them down with a wet rag and my thieves cleaner before applying a coat of paint. So, this would focus on me. I am looking <laughs> and feeling so tired. Um, but the walls are done, so I just need to do the trim and the doors. I don't know if I'm actually gonna get to those tonight, but I'm gonna start by just taping off what I can tape, and then I'll see how I feel after that. So I really was officially super tired at that point where I filmed that clip. Um, I think we'd been going, or I'd been going for a long time. The whole project actually took about 12 hours. I really pushed myself to get it done, which I know I didn't need to do, but I wanted to get the crib in there so bad. <laughs> so this is the next morning, like I'd said before, my husband's just helping me take the paint, or the paint, the tape off, because I had painted the trim that nice bright white color. And I think this is also one of the most satisfying parts of painting is peeling the tape off. Hello, it is now like 8.30 on Sunday night and I'm echoing in here. So we're gonna go in my bedroom. It's a little darker, but it's okay. Um, it is now like 8.30 on Sunday night. I'm exhausted. I know my husband's exhausted. <laughs> it was such a long weekend between painting all day and just trying to keep up with like regular house stuff. Um, but I'm determined to get the crib put together before the work week starts tomorrow because that's the reason, or so that's the reason I like worked so hard to paint. So my husband and I are gonna do that. We're tired, huh? <laughs> Let's go make the crib. Okay, so as you can see, all the painting is done. So I didn't film the second coat on the walls or a lot of the trim paint because at that point, like I said, I was tired and then I think my battery died and then I just didn't go grab another battery for the camera. So um, 
yeah, I didn't get that filmed, but as you can see, it's done. So we are just unpacking the crib. Um, I went with a black metal crib. I don't know why. I was just so drawn to either black metal or gold metal cribs. I think if it would have been a girl, I would have gone with the gold because I had so many visions for a girl nursery with it. Um, but I'm loving the black and I can't wait for you guys to see it all put together. So uh, my husband was just helping me get that ready. For your guys' sake, I think you're so lucky that it's muted and I'm just talking over it and playing music because I don't know about you guys, but my husband and I bicker a lot when we put things together or do projects, especially when we're overly tired, which we were at this point. So I was listening back, laughing at us. Um, it's kind of just innocent bickering and I think, you know, what couple doesn't do that? Um, or argue sometimes what's important is that it is a productive one and um, you work through it so anyways as you can see we're just gonna start putting it together also I am an instructions reader and my husband is not so I think half the reason we bicker is because he wants me to tell him the next step but he doesn't have the patience to have me read the instructions because he just kind of does it by figuring it out so he ends up just doing it and putting things together before I have a chance to tell him what to put on next. So this is it totally completed. Here is the crib. As you can see, we still need our crib mattress, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick overview with some of the furniture. Obviously the nursery is far from done, but we've got the poof, the chair, a little side table that I got in here and the crib. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was a lot of fun to film. I'm so excited to continue sharing this journey. Also, um, surprise, we got the dresser too. I was so excited that this came and I absolutely love it. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thumbs us up if you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Bye.